Sources along I-85 told reporters today Vice President Joe Biden was spotted hitchhiking to the Democratic National Convention, reportedly relying on his charm and the generosity of passing motorists to cover the roughly 400 miles from Washington, D.C. to Charlotte, North Carolina. Yeah, I was headed down to Petersburg and I saw the vice president standing by the side of the road with a bratty looking backpack and his thumb hanging out. When he got in, he seemed upset that there was nowhere to play his foreigner tapes. Then he pulled his Philadelphia Eagles cap down, put his boots up on the dashboard and conked right off for a couple of hours. When he woke up, he told me to pull over because he said he had to drain the snake. Saying it was his duty to, quote, heed the open road, Biden has reportedly ridden in at least 11 different vehicles between the Capitol and the border of Virginia and North Carolina, with sources saying the vice president insisted on making a one-night stop in Richmond to, quote, catch up with an old flame. Well, we were getting gas, and uh, he came out with a 24-pack of Coors Light and a bottle of Jack Daniels. He said it was uh, really time to get the party started. He then offered to make us the sickest apple pipe we'd ever seen. He kept asking if I had the cojones to make it with Cindy Crawford if she was ever lying there spread eagle waiting for for me. He smelled pretty bad, like um, cigarettes and body odor. The vice president, known throughout his political career as a frequent hitcher, has not confirmed with aides when he might arrive at the convention, telling them, quote, I'll get there whenever the hell I get there. I dropped him off at a, a, a truck stop near Chester about two nights ago, said he planned on sleeping there. He told me all a man needs to sleep is a bench to lie on and a cold one to nurse him to bed. I said it might be a little dangerous out there alone. He said he was carrying his butterfly knife and that he just got his green belt in Taekwondo. Owners and employees of numerous establishments along Biden's route reported seeing him attempting to get rides from customers, telling them that he needed to get to Charlotte Pronto so he could give a big fancy speech in front of some real uptight gas bags. He was here last night and he kept buying everyone sitting at the bar mimosas. So I cut his tab off at about $400. But when I asked him to pay up, he said all he had was a pack of Marlboros. And then he was like, Uncle Joe can think of a couple ways to pay you. I turned around for one second and the son of a bitch was gone. To be honest, I thought it was kind of cute. Biden was last seen at this rest stop where he reportedly purchased some corn nuts in the August issue of Swank. Keep checking theonion.com for more as this story develops.